What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. As you can see, I took a trip down to Gold's Venice and met up with my buddy Connor from uh, high school actually. He goes to college down in Southern California and so we figured we'd meet up. I can't pass up an opportunity to hit up Gold's because it's just so legendary. But anyway, I'm gonna talk through the workout but I just want to say a quick thank you to Connor. I really appreciate him filming. It was awesome meeting him, meeting up with him, and it was good to catch up. But anyway, getting into the workout. There's no particular order for everything. We we're just kind of doing what was open since it was really crowded. But we started with this incline or decline hammer strength press just to warm up and moved on to incline dumbbell bench. And so one thing that I want to recommend a lot of people try if you're new to incline dumbbell bench is notice the path that my wrists and the weight are taking. They're a diagonal continual path upwards. And a big mistake I see a lot of people make is they press the weight straight up, vertically up from where they begin, and then they move it towards the center at the top. And this takes all the stress off of your chest like three quarters of the way through the movement. And so it's definitely what you don't want. So do what I'm doing here it'll keep the stress on the chest throughout the entire movement. Next, moved on to bench, and this was my last set. I did here 205, and I think I hit seven reps, and I am very, very happy with my bench progress right now. Um, it's been a long, long road to get here through a lot of physical therapy, but I'm pain-free now. Everything's going well. Um, I hit 225 for a five by five like two weeks ago. So everything's going very well and I wanna see what the future holds for uh, future PR. So I'm excited for that. But after bench, we moved on to some, these pec deck flies, but we were perpendicular to where you normally would. And this just allows you to contract like uh, twice as much as chest as you would just normally because if you think about it when you do it two arms you're basically only going halfway because your arms meet in the middle so try this um, it's a nice little change up to the movement uh, next we moved on to a little triceps and did this tricep dip machine and notice that I'm only going up about halfway and the reason for that is because I find that when I go really far up my traps get engaged because my traps are very very dominant um, so I just try and go halfway up and extend all the way to the bottom to make sure that my triceps are fully involved. So try that if you feel like your traps are coming into play too much when we do that. Next, we tried these super, super awesome like pec deck flies, but you have like these pads obviously that you put your elbows on and I've never seen these before. Um, but we tried this and it was just absolutely incredible. The contraction was awesome and supersetted it with this decline version of that. And I like the decline version just a little bit more because I feel like it takes the stress off of my shoulders. And when I'm doing chest, I like to, at least, at least when I'm doing isolate, isolation chest work, I like to only use my chest, obviously, because that's why it's called isolation. But um, I really like this. Um, definitely try it out if it's at your gym or you can find it. One of my favorite chest isolation movements for sure. But as you can notice, I'm doing three force negative reps at the end of each of these sets. Um, something that can, you can use when you can afford a little bit more recovery time in your workouts. Um, I wouldn't recommend using it in every single exercise, every single workout, but something that you can definitely use once in a while to burn out and it's really great. So anyway, uh, finished with this incline chest press and pretty self-explanatory. Great workout, loved going to Gold's, seeing like all the people and stuff like that just a great environment good working out with connor but that's conclude the commentary thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one all right guys so that's gonna conclude the video i had a great time at gold's today i want to say thank you to connor he helped me a lot uh filming so it was a good workout i think we were both kind of tired but i think it was really good so um but yeah it was it's always really fun to come out to gold's so we're just kind of chilling trying everything out um dexter jackson was here while we were working out which was dope. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.